Welcome to the second part of our video series about Neumann's first audio interface, the MT48. MT, by the way, stands for Merging Technologies, a highly innovative company from Switzerland that Neumann has partnered with to create this audio interface. Meanwhile, merging has become part of Neumann, so expect a lot more to come. The MT48 is based on the merging Anubis, but has some unique features and added connectivity. While the Anubis works purely network-based, the MT48 also comes with USB, which makes setup in a home or project studio a lot easier. In fact, it has two USB Type-C ports. One is for communication with your Mac or PC, and the other is for the power supply. Let's have a closer look at its features. The MT48 has four analog inputs and eight analog output channels. In addition, there is digital connectivity, which we'll get to later. Most of the connections are made on the back of the unit, and some are on the front as a matter of convenience. The first two inputs are on the back in the form of Neutrik combo jacks. If you use an XLR cable, you're in the microphone input. If you use a TRS plug, you're in the line input. Next to it are two XLR outs. These are the main outputs that you typically connect to your studio loudspeakers. If you have a second pair of speakers, you can connect them to outputs 3 and 4, but you can use these TRS outs for other purposes as well, such as reamping or sending a monitor mix to a headphone amplifier in the vocal booth. All inputs and outputs can be addressed separately. Before we examine the digital connectivity, let's have a look at the front of the device. On the far left and right, we have two headphone outputs, which is great when you collaborate with another artist or producer. The built-in headphone amps are top-notch quality. They are extremely powerful and have an ultra-low output impedance of 35 milliohms. That's up to 1000 times lower than on most competitors' devices. Low output impedance is crucial for getting optimal sound from modern low impedance headphones, which is why many users end up buying an external headphone amplifier. The MT48 outperforms most external headphone amps. It drives any headphones to their absolute best. Also on the front, we have inputs 3 and 4, which can be used for line signals or for instruments, such as bass and guitar. The input impedance is super high, which means the tone of your instrument is fully captured without any losses. So that's the analog connectivity. With two mic line inputs, two additional line instrument inputs, main outs, secondary outputs, and two headphone outputs, the MT48 has everything you need for a home or project studio. But what if you need more inputs and outputs? What if you want to record drums or an entire band? That's where the digital connectivity comes in. The MT48 has ADAT inputs and outputs to add up to eight channels using an external converter. Alternatively, these optical inputs and outputs can also be used in SPDIF mode. Even more capable is this connector, the AES67 network port. AES67 is an important standard for audio over IP networks and broadcast. And it is gaining more and more traction in recording and live sound too. The AES67 port is bi-directional, so you can use it with input devices, such as AD converters, as well as output devices, such as Neumann's AES67 studio monitors or with several AES67 devices at the same time, using a standard network switch. Unlike ADAT, AES67 supports high channel counts, even at high sampling rates. And that's cutting-edge technology. But let's travel back in time. In 1982, MIDI was invented. And 40 years later, MIDI is still indispensable. So of course, the MT48 is equipped with MIDI in and out. Due to size limitations, the ports don't come in standard DIN 5 format, but as jack sockets. Adapter cables are available from Neumann. Alternatively, you can use these sockets in GPIO mode for foot switches, for instance, to activate talkback. So much for connectivity. In the next video, we'll have a look at the device itself. <laughs>